ongoing xenophobic violence in South Africa is denting the nation's image and creating diplomatic nightmares with other African countries. As Yolisa Njemela reports, a coalition of many organizations has been formed to help find a solution to the xenophobic problem. In addition to the 12 people who lost their lives following the recent xenophobic unrest, over 600 people have been arrested. During the attacks, foreign and local owned shops were looted. A building and a truck were also touched. The looters went on a rampage in a number of areas in the Gauteng province, South Africa's economic hub. Ordinary South Africans, law enforcers and government officials have continuously condemned these attacks. Now, a coalition of over 50 organizations have also entered the fray. The People's Coalition Against Xenophobia comprises of trade union representatives, civil society organizations, community groups, and individual activists. Theirs is a call to action to stop the attacks. Enough is enough. This has to come to an end. It's like every four years we find ourselves here. We find ourselves fighting this battle. You know, and we cannot continue like this, not in our name. This cannot n happen in our name as, as, as South Africans. The organizations believe that the main targets of these attacks are working class fellow Africans. For us, this is a working class struggle where we are seeing working classes fighting against each other and not directing the challenges at the root cause of um, the problem, which is the system we find ourselves operating under. Stand united against xenophobia and gender-based violence, fighting for equal, safe and inclusive South Africa. The working class divided will never conquer. What is needed is sustained rolling mass actions, and we are committing to building a mass movement against xenophobia, sexism, racism, and all forms of prejudices dividing and <coughs> oppressing the working class and poor. This coalition will take to the streets on Saturday in protest against the attacks. The riots seem to have been quelled for now. Police officers have maintained a heavy presence in Johannesburg, looking out for any possible eruptions of xenophobic riots. Earlier on Monday, the presidency released the statement imploring the law enforcement agencies in this country to be vigilant and be firm in dealing with the perpetrators of these attacks and essentially restore law and order in this country. 